What is our first main topic today? All right, this comes from Franklin Moore. Happy Monday, John. You've mentioned a couple times that you weren't particularly excited for Matrix 4. As for me, it's in my top five most anticipated. Anyway, did you have a chance to glance at the first reactions? Some are saying it's great. Others are saying not so much. What do you think of them? And how do you think the reviews will hold up when they come out? Thanks. All right. Thanks a lot for saying that in, man. And yeah, look, it, it, it's no secret. I've, I've, I've been very open about this. I am not excited for the new Matrix movie. Now, I'm going to go see it, I think, Wednesday. I'm going to go see it Wednesday. Um, and so I'm interested in it, but I just, I have never had any reason to feel excited about it. Hmm. Because as we've laid out before, the first Matrix, iconic, all-time, awesome. Amazing. Matrix 2 and 3 were, I think, universally agreed upon to be steep declines. And then after that, the Wachowskis, to me, made some of the worst films in cinematic history. And on top of all that, only one of the Wachowskis is back for this. It's not the pair of them. It's just the one. So I've always said, look, I, I see no reason. Give me a reason to be excited for this. And I never have. And then the trailers came out. I still don't have a lot of faith in this movie, but my God, those trailers are awesome. Like they were top notch, fantastic trailers. From the music choices, the edits, the, the shot selection that they decided to use in them, I have loved both of them. Those have been great trailers. Still not a lot of excitement for the movie, but I got to tip my hat. The trailers are incredible. So I have been very interested to find out what are the first reactions going to be like. And the first reactions did come out a couple of days ago. Now, it should also be noted that the review embargo does not lift until tomorrow, the day before the movie comes out. That's never usually a good sign. It doesn't automatically mean cataclysm, but it's, you know, it's never a good sign that the full review embargo doesn't lift to the day before, but you know, whatever. But the first reactions have come out and they are divided. Some really didn't like it. Some really quite did like a lot. Um, so let's take a look at some of the ones that have come out through here. So uh, David Ulrich writes the matrix resurrections, despite, and because of its infinite goofiness, is the boldest and most vividly personal Hollywood sequel since The Last Jedi. A silly slash sincere galaxy uh, galaxy brain take on reboot culture that makes peace with how modern blockbusters are now in and of themselves. I would guess some really good ones. The Matrix Re uh, Resurrections, this is from Nigel Smith, is more fun than I remember the sequels ever being. Uh, yes, it's bogged down in exposition like the previous two, but there's a knowing wink to it all now. Newcomers Neil Patrick Harris and Jonathan Groff are key to that. Uh, oh, and the climax rocks. Uh, we go on to uh, Scott Wampner, who writes, So far, I have personally spoken with half a dozen friends who have seen Matrix 4, and no two reactions were identical. Excited to see where this takes us. Clayton Davis writes, The Matrix Resurrections is too self-aware of its existence. Poking fun at itself a bit too much, it's very heavy on the love story with not a lot of show-stopping action and effects, which is what the people want. The best part is Jonathan Groff, but that's just life at this point. He goes on to write, you'll probably see it on the Oscar shortlist for visual effects, but it might be 50-50 for something like sounds. So they go into that. Uh, Aaron Stewart on writes, the past two weeks I've been ta talking a ton of people uh, who all, with the exception of one, have been like, The Matrix Resurrections is going to be so divisive, but I think I loved it. Uh, Emily Van Der Vett writes, uh, where was... Uh, there was a point in the middle of the Matrix Resurrections where I briefly thought it was the best movie ever made. And like, I haven't convinced myself it's not. Uh, I loved it. And a lot of people are going to hate it. <laughs> My kind of movie. Uh, Matt Patches writes, Matrix Resurrections, best movie of the year. So angry. So joyous. So fun. You see, these are all over the place. Courtney Howard writes, Matrix Resurrections is a terrific, awe-inspiring, meta-minded, meta mind bender, completely in line with the franchise's legacy finds an innovative, high-concept way to frame the new story. Keanu Reeves and Carrie Ann Moss's chemistry burns. Jessica Henwick is a revelation. And then we get into stuff like this. Jeff Nelson writes, The Matrix Resurrections uh, is an almost two-and-a-half-hour exposition dump with choppy action scenes reminiscent of the Bourne movies. It reuses far too much footage from the previous installments, and it's meta to a fault. Alison Foreman writes, I am deeply happy for those who will enjoy The Matrix Resurrections. I am, regrettably, not among them. It's leagues better than Reloaded and Revolutions, which is, to be clear, not really a good thing, but it has had bad stakes. Nothing matters, and not in a cool, nihilistic way. Anyway, so... 
you see they're kind of all over the place. There are some people who like it, some people who love it, some people indifferent, some people really didn't like it. I mean, so it is kind of the true definition of mixed. It is going to be very interesting to see where these reactions or where the reviews end up once we get the more full laid out reviews and those again don't come till tomorrow so i'm not surprised i'm not surprised and you know what i might end up loving this movie i might end up absolutely loving it but right now knowing what we know going into it i'm not surprised to hear that people are kind of divided on it. so i'm not quite sure what to expect going into the reviews are these what you expected to hear kim and, and if not what do you think we're going to hear out of the first reviews when we get into them tomorrow Oh, man. Um, it it, it kind of is what I expected to hear. I have high hopes for this film. It's disappointing that some of the things that made The Matrix, the original 1999 version, great, which was the visual effects, the mind-bending plot. Um, it sounds like from the reviews, these reviews, that those are the things that are at fault, that they're going a little bit too meta, a little bit too deep. And I don't like what I'm hearing about the action not being on point, not being there, because the Matrix, in terms of visual effects and action, it changed the game for sci-fi films. I mean, how many films do we know of after 1999 that changed and borrowed from the matrix how much matrix dna did we see in sci-fi and action films since then and i know that maybe they can't reach the the former glory but it's i don't know it's a little disappointing and so i'm 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 hoping overall it gets good reactions but i i have to say one thing that i did expect and do expect to be on point is the action and so i'm a little nervous of what i'm hearing yeah, a I mean, that, I, that's one of the things I was surprised to hear, too, was that, yeah. I mean, I expected to hear a lot of maybe story stuff didn't work, yeah. whatever, but to hear that the action wasn't great. Now, great, not all of them said that. Only a couple of people said that. Maybe the action will work great for me. So I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, guys, question is for you. <laughs> what did you think about the early reactions to Matrix Resurrections? I'm kind of not surprised. I think they're right where I thought they would. I didn't think they would be all bad. I didn't think they would be all great. It's right down the middle. That's how I kind of thought it. Are you surprised? What do you think we're going to get from the full reviews that come out tomorrow? Are you excited for the film? Whatever you guys are feeling, jump down into the comments section below and let us know your thoughts.